So now we have kind of the foundation of this Bronco image looking pretty good, but there's a lot of areas in here that are really rough and some of that's good, some of that's bad. Like for instance, the tires I think look really good. Parts of this drop shadow, the edges have a lot of nice texture, but back here in the tailgate, things are a little messy. Inside the windows, things are a little messy. So what I wanna do here is I'm gonna use the pen tool just to block out areas of black and white. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all these layers and just lock them. So Command or Control L, just go in there and select each of these layers and lock them. Now, if you try to select things, there's nothing to select, so it won't get in the way. And let's make a new layer up top here. And I'm actually gonna use the pen tool. Let's go in here and let's go block out some of this black area in here. So I'm just gonna draw kind of where I want things to fill in. So let's change that fill to an orange there, just so you can see it better. I'm gonna draw with an orange fill and then I'm gonna change it to black or white after that. We just wanna do this kind of the quickest, fastest way we can. Now I can do the same thing with the white areas. So for instance, in here in this window reflection, actually that palm leaf looks pretty cool, but I think it'd be a little cleaner if we got rid of it. And same thing here in the front, there's a little window shade right there. I wanna keep that, but everything else I wanna get rid of. So let's select these orange parts here and we can just assign them a black fill. And for these areas that are supposed to be white, we could select those and turn them to white. So I'm just gonna go around the rest of the vehicle and then I'm gonna speed it up so you don't have to continually watch me do the same thing over and over and draw in these clean vector shapes and we'll get it looking nice and crisp but in other areas, we'll let that texture stay. That way it's still gonna look photographic. And the key here is I really, I'm just trying to block out these black and white shapes. Now you do wanna do a good job, but you wanna do it as quickly as possible. So now let's turn everything that was red, let's turn that into white, and let's turn everything that was orange into black, and let's see how it looks. And everything that was red in here, let's turn that to white. So as you can see, this design is looking a whole lot cleaner. It still looks like a photograph, but it looks a lot more refined at this point. Just to show you where we came from, let me turn off the visibility of all this vector line work that we just did. So from there, kind of looks like a mess. All of a sudden, it's starting to look like a nice graphic. So let's go ahead and just save a new copy of this. You don't wanna save over your old file in case you wanna go back to it. So let's save a new file. We'll just call this Bronco 2 and tap save. 